Welcome to Focus Product Spotlight. Hi, I'm Megan Kornman, Applications Engineer for Focus Americas. Today, I'd like to talk to you about CISCU, a remote control programmer for CIS family charge controllers. First, if you're having any problems, I'd recommend to change out the batteries of the remote control. Just get a new set of AA batteries, switch them out here, and this should fix most problems. Next, if you're having any problems with communications, make sure that there's a clear line of sight between the transceivers on the CISCU and the transceivers on the charge controller. Also, make sure that they're less than eight meters apart. Next, let's talk about a few programming options for CISCU. The most common program setting is Dust to Dawn. This will turn connected streetlights on at dusk and off at dawn. The first thing you want to adjust are these timer reference switches. Make sure they're set to hours based on dusk and dawn. Next, you'll want to adjust the morning knob in the first column. Adjust it so that it's set to D to D or dusk to dawn. Also, make sure that the evening hours are set to off. Then you're done. Another example programming option is to turn the lights on for two hours after dusk and again at three hours before dawn. As before, you want to set your timer reference so that the hours are still based on dusk and dawn. Next, you want to set your evening and morning hours knobs in the first column. For your evening hours, change it to two. This will say that the light will be on for two hours after dusk and set your morning hours to three, and this will turn the lights on three hours before dawn. If you have a CIS controller connected to an LED driver with dimming capabilities, or if you have a CIS controller with a built-in LED driver, then you can add dimming options. If we take our previous example, and we want to dim the light an additional two hours before they turn on full at dawn, then we'll need to adjust a few more knobs. You can also adjust the dimming level with this dimming knob here in the second column. The first adjustment is to change the morning hours knob in the first column. This will control when the light is on. We'll change this to five so that the light comes on five hours before dawn. Next, in the second column, we'll change our morning hours to three. This will change the dimming so that it ends three hours before dawn. We'll also change the evening hours in the second column to two. This will initiate dimming to start two hours after dusk. And this is after those two hours when they were on full. Now the light will still be off in the middle of the night as controlled by the settings in the first column. The default is for 50%, but you can change it to whatever you want. For example, we can change it to 30%. This means that the light will be on at 30% of its full brightness. More programming options are available with a different timer reference, with the hours based on middle of the night. For example, let's say I want to turn the lights on two hours before the middle of the night and three hours after the middle of the night. Then I'll adjust the knobs in the first column so that the evening hours are set to two, two hours before the middle of the night the lights will turn on, and the morning hours are set to three, so three hours after the middle of the night the lights will also be on. Dimming works in a similar fashion. Don't forget to adjust your battery type. Over here you have an option to choose either sealed or flooded batteries. If you choose flooded batteries, then the equalized charge setting will be on. If you have a gel, AGM, or other type of sealed battery, make sure that the switch is down so that the equalized charge is not enabled. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Focus Tech Tips. For more videos and information, go to www.focus.com. Focus making reliable energy access possible anywhere, anytime, any grid.